So, you've finally gotten sucked into the endless void that is the Isle Legacy. But, you're lost. You cannot seem to find anyone. The map is huge and so overwhelming. You're starving and hoping by some luck someone happens to stumble into you. Where do you go? How do you find players? In this video, I will show you 11 hotspots found on the V3 map. So kick back, relax, and enjoy a snack while I show you where your dinosaur can find one too. In this video, I will list the hotspots from most frequented to least frequented. They will split up into major, mixed, and minor hotspots. Just know that, depending on the server, some of these spots may vary in terms of player visitation. Although, there are three locations you are almost guaranteed to find players in regardless of the server. These will be the major hotspots. Enjoy! In order to navigate the V3 map without years of memorization under your belt, your best option is to use the Isle of Vovona map. You can find this map by searching it and clicking on the map link. Here you will find access to all the Isle maps, both Evruma and Legacy. All you need to do is grab your dinosaur's coordinates and plug them into the search bar here. To find your coordinates, you will find them under Character, which can be accessed by pressing Insert or by clicking ESC and navigating down to Character. The first hotspot on this list is a major one called Great Falls, and it is arguably the most popular spot on the entire V3 map. You can find it on the southern side of the map, although it takes some walking to get to. Once you are there, you will almost always find a fight in this location and typically there will be multiple players already PvPing, which can be entertaining to watch. Just be wary, this spot has a ton of players with a ton of different playstyles. Everything can kill you, everything wants to eat you, and some may use any means necessary to kill you, like ambushing you. If you are willing to take the risk of being around a ton of players with a fight around every corner, then this is a spot you must visit. The second hotspot is Twins, a major hotspot divided into two locations, North and South Twins. Out of these two spots, South Twins almost always has more players around it, but both areas typically always have some player traffic. The landscape is very flat and open, perfect for PvP without the fear of cliffs and uneven terrain. There are normally Rexes or Gigas in this area. Acros and Spinos are rare, but still show here. You are more likely to find solo players in this location, which can lead to some exciting 1v1s. Just be wary of the open terrain, there are very few places to hide if you are seen. The third hotspot on this list, and the final major location, is Gulf Pond. Not only is this location a Jibby hotspot, but it is also frequented by adult dinosaurs as well. This area is located on one of the routes one can take to get to Great Falls which means you are likely to run into traveling players alongside growing players. The ground around the pond is flat, which is perfect for PvP, and there are numerous places you can drink without worrying about being spotted. Just be wary, this location is perfect for ambushing other players. The tree line is close to the pool, and it is surrounded by pine trees. Make sure to always watch your six in this spot. Fourth on the list is Hidden. It is a mixed hotspot and comes with the risk of no one being there. There is no in-between, it is either filled with tons of players or completely vacant. Normally when there is a large herd at Hidden, there are lots of carnivores going there as well. When the herd is vacant from the spot, then the carnivores leave and the area is barren. Going here is a risk, but it can lead to high reward. The terrain here isn't the greatest and leans towards advantaging apexes against riders due to the uneven slopes and cliffs. Although, the area is very open and it is hard to be ambushed. Fifth on the list of hotspots is Port, a mixed location. This area is known for being a Utah nesting ground with a lot of role-playing packs settled here. If you are looking to fight Utahs, then this area will almost always have them. Depending on the pack there and your chosen dinosaur, however, they may be too scared to fight you. Although, this place has lots of cover and plenty of flat ground to fight. If you need to use their terrain to keep riders off of your ass, this spot has a plethora of structures one can use. Just be mindful, there is almost always that one Utah here that is very skilled. You risk losing your dinosaur here, but also gain a very fun fight in turn. The sixth location of hotspots is the Wash, a minor hotspot as it is only frequented by players going to or leaving Great Falls. 
This area is located on one of the routes from the beach to Great Falls, so you are likely to find traveling players here. The area has a ton of water and flat ground to PvP in, although it is also surrounded by a lot of trees and there is a likelihood that players could emerge from almost all directions unexpectedly. Be wary here and keep an eye on your surroundings. Up next on the list in 7th is Cargo Pond, otherwise known as Pride Rock for the large Lion King-like boulder in the center. It is a minor hotspot right near Twins and Radio Tower. This area may only be a minor hotspot for adult dinosaurs, but it is one of the biggest Juvie hotspots on the map. You are likely to find all kinds of Juvie dinosaurs here and adult dinosaurs checking the area after leaving Twins. The pond is very small and is surrounded by thick tree cover on all sides. Be wary of this. While drinking, you are able to be easily ambushed as dinosaurs can get very close to you without being seen due to the trees. Eighth option available is Sinkhole, also dubbed Crater by older players. It is a minor hotspot due to its lower player visitation frequency. Although, due to its proximity to the beach and twins, adult dinosaurs do come here to check for other players. So, checking the area has minimal risk and could lead to an exciting 1v1 between potential visitors. This area has slightly sloped ground, but it is flat enough for PvP to be very viable. Although, do be aware that the landscape is very open, and it could take a while to reach thick tree cover if you are being hunted and need to escape. The ninth location on the list is Radio Tower, another minor hotspot located right next to Twins. This spot has a great view over the entire map, and you can see players approaching your location from miles out. Although, this spot does have low player visitation, most players that come here go to grow in peace. If adults do check this area, they will most likely be coming from Twins and up the mountainside. Be wary though, getting to this location can be very risky due to the high cliffs you will need to climb to reach it. One wrong move and you could break your leg or die from fall damage, so be careful climbing your way up there. While not a defined location, 10th on the list is the entire beach, a minor hotspot due to its size. The beach is one of the areas you will have most of your fights in over time. To navigate between various hotspots, players use the beach to cut across the ocean using the land bridge. Here you can engage players in PvP on flat ground, have no foliage blocking your view, and in very few places the environment can be used against you. Just be wary when crossing the land bridge, you can be ambushed on either side despite the tree line being far out. Also, you could potentially be run down depending on how much stamina you have left over after swimming. Other than that, the beach is one of the greatest places for PvP. Lastly, in the 11th spot on the list is Western Pond, a minor hotspot located near Gulf Pond and the beach. Western Pond is known for being both a juvie hotspot and also an apex nesting ground. Mainly Rex's nest here, so be wary of that apex specifically when hunting here. This area consists of a small pond surrounded by decent tree cover, so be careful not to get ambushed. Unlike many locations on this map, the pond is surrounded by a ton of individual boulders you can use to your advantage against riders if needed. The terrain is mainly flat, but there is a giant slope that, if climbed, leads straight to Gulf River and eventually Gulf Pond. The slanted cliffside isn't that great for PvP, but can be utilized if needed. And that wraps up the 11 hotspot locations on the ILV3 map. I hope this video helps you to find where more players are on the map so you can enjoy more PvP action. Happy hunting, y'all!